India is expected to go through a major growth momentum over the next 30 years. Uh, we are currently at an inflection point. Uh, as we see further growth in disposable incomes, we will see a, a mass increase in, in consumption. This in turn will drive demand for various basic commodities, food, foodstuffs, energy, housing, infrastructure, and various services. We are probably today where China was in the early 90s. And investing into the India growth story is an area which, uh, which is expected to yield enormous dividend uh, for all people participating broadly across any of the areas which are based upon the consumption story in India. Um, one of the key areas that will drive growth in India will be the availability of cheap and abundant energy. Uh, India has been blessed with abundant sunshine and tremendous wind potential. The government of India has very correctly exploited this over the last 10 years and uh, building India into one of the powerhouses uh, in the renewable space. However, we have seen a certain level of saturation that has been reached in India's ability to exploit renewable energy over the last few years essentially driven by the fact that storing energy still is very expensive. Eventually, uh, the holy grail for renewable energy will be the ability to time shift energy, generate uh, power and store it during the day when the sun shines and consume it uh, when there isn't uh, sunshine available. So essentially, we'll no longer be limited to having access to renewable energy only when the sun shines and the wind blows. The cost of storage has been sharply reducing and we have seen the cost of storage come down from around $500 a unit down to sub $100 a unit today. This makes renewable energy efficient and cost effective for India and comparable to the cost of conventional energy. Uh, this provides India with a tremendous ability to reduce its import dependence uh, and reduce its reliant, reliance on uh, carbon-based uh, fuel sources to natural fuel sources. Uh, I believe that this will start to happen. We will start to see a massive increase as, as early as 2030. Conventional energy now created will only be a bridging fuel to the future of, of energy, which eventually will lie with, uh, uh, with exploiting all of India's very abundant renewable resources. The Indian subcontinent is blessed with tremendous natural resources. Virtually every mineral and ore is available in India. The recent changes to the Mineral Development Act and various legislations to enable mining in the country, which bring in transparency uh, and ease of doing business, will allow uh, the mineral dependent sectors, both downstream and upstream, to uh, be able to flourish in the country. Uh, India has the potential to be one of the largest mineral and mineral downstream uh, producing sectors and uh, producing downstream countries in the world. This has been an underexploited resource so far and I believe it will be overexploited over the next you know, decade or so.